Hey people, in this video I'm going to show you how to make a simple sky texture procedurally to use as an HDRI. So I have this simple scene set up, it's just a few spheres um, with different materials so you can see how it interacts with uh, you know different types of objects, metallic, glass, things like that. Um, and we're only going to be using um, the environment lighting so you can just delete all of your lights that you have in your scene. Uh, and then we're going to switch over to the shading tab, change this from object to world. So we have no lights in our scene right now. Um, click this background node, press control T. If you have node wrangler installed, it will give you these three nodes, the texture coordinate and mapping. I'm gonna delete this um, image. I'm going to add a separate XYZ. Plug these vectors in and plug the Z into color. It basically adds a linear gradient going um, up, you know, from the bottom to the top. You can achieve the same result by using a gradient uh, node and setting it to linear, but this is just the way I like to do it. Um, then you can add a mix RGB. Uh, plug this into the factor. And this lets you uh, control what uh, colors are being used. So if you wanted, you could change this to like some other color. But I'm basically just using this. So uh, the black on the bottom will be like the ground and the top will be the sky. I'm going to mess with the scale a little right here just to make it a little tighter. Make this 10, make this a little lower like that. All right, and then uh, you can duplicate the separate XYZ and the mapping. Plug this texture coordinate in and connect the Z over here to uh, the white. The reason it looks so bright right now is because the mix RGB isn't set to clamp, so the brightness level is able to go over one. If it was set to clamp, that wouldn't be happening. I'm gonna add another uh, mix RGB. Attach it to the factor again, just like before. And so this is controlling uh, the white portion now. I'm just going to uh, reset this node and then make this one white, this one a uh, more deeper, deep blue. And so now, as you can see, it's uh, blue on the top, white on the bottom right here. If you mess with the scale a little, to make it look a little more like a sky. That looks, that looks all right. That looks pretty good. Um, and so you could stop here if you want. Um, and it, it is a little more complex. Uh, but I want to add some clouds. So I'm going to add another mapping. Plug this in over here, and I'm going to add a noise noise texture. I'm going to reset this by pressing backspace on top of the mapping node, so it just resets its uh, default settings basically. Um, I'm going to add another mix RGB. I'm going to plug this into where the uh, the white portion was up top. So now as you can see it's a little cloudy. You can control the distribution with the factor slider. Um, and if you add this, change this to add, it'll look a little better. Um, and if you add a color ramp in here, you can make some of the, the sky show through by pushing this black up like that. I'm going to mess around with these settings a little, add some detail, make them look a little fluffier. Um, and I'm going to squash them a little, Just change this to two. So now they look a little flatter, a little closer to like a real cloud, I guess. You can change the, the cloud distribution by mo moving this uh, black flag right here. I think that looks pretty good. 
Um, and if you wanted the clouds to, uh, to be a little brighter, you could also add a math node, change this to multiply, put this right here. And now you can make the clouds a little brighter. It'll influence the, the scene a little more like that. So I'll just change this to five. And just make sure that none of these are set to clamp or else this multiply node won't work because it's technically pushing this above uh, above one. You can see how it looks a little different when it's clamping. It's not as bright. When you select clamp, it makes it so that the values stay between zero and one. That's pretty much it. Now your lighting is a little more complex. You can achieve this many different ways, um, but this is how I like to do it. If you think some part of this setup could be better, or if you want to suggest a topic for a different tutorial, leave a comment below. I hope you learned something. Uh, thanks for watching.